Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 18th of 2024 is titled Hoag's Object, a nearly perfect ring galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, we see what is called a Hoag's object and in fact was studied by Arthur Hoag, who happened to find this very unusual object. And we see it as what we call a ring galaxy. So you see the central portion looks like a very reddish yellow type galaxy in the center with a nearly perfect ring of material around it. Now what could cause something like this? And that is a good question. And there are a couple of hypotheses that have been put forward, but we don't really know for sure. One thought when we see galaxies like this is that maybe some sort of collision caused this. And possibly maybe billions of years ago, there could have been some kind of collision that caused the galaxy to form into two separate entities here, where we see the central region and the outer region with that really that almost look what looks to be an empty area in between the two. Now studies have shown that there has not been a collision and has not gathered any other object into it within the last billion years or so but does not rule out anything a lot older than that. So could it be something that formed and then was able to hold up under much longer time frames. Now the other thing that is thought of is that there used to be a central bar in this. Now many galaxies spiral galaxies which would look a lot like this do have a bar going through the center. So a central bar and then the spiral arms come off the end of that. And that is again another possibility. We don't really understand the mechanism by which a bar forms or why some galaxies get them and some don't. Could there be reasons why one of them why they disappear after a certain amount of time? We know that we do see other ring galaxies in around. In fact, we see one in this image in that central gap. Uh, there is another ring galaxy. So we know that they are, occur, but they aren't the most common types of galaxies in the universe. So there's probably something that causes this type of galaxy to form that we really don't completely understand. Now we see the difference in it in that central region matches something like the core region or the nuclear bulge of our own Milky Way. It's more of a yellowish to red color and is dominated by the light of older stars, stars like the sun that have evolved and become red giants. The ring, you can see how distinctly blue it is and the blue color in the ring is caused by star formation and that star formation is still ongoing today. And we can tell that because of the blue stars there and those blue stars, those most massive blue stars only live a couple of million years. So in order to be seeing them now, they must have formed within the last few million years. Otherwise, they would be gone. So we know that star formation is going on in that ring, just as we see with other with spiral galaxies such as our own. So a ring galaxy like this, you know, what is it? Is it one galaxy or is it two separate galaxies? And trying to understand the mechanism behind it is one of the things astronomers still look for. So that was our picture of the day for February 18th of 2024. It was titled Hoag's Object, a nearly perfect ring galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be sideways sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.